we work for a college district, actually. It's a community college district. Um, it's been highly recognized for student success and the access that we provide students. And uh, we've got two beautiful campuses that welcome international students, one in Fort Stellacom, which is in the Lakewood part, and then Piala campus, which is maybe about 30 minutes uh, to the east towards Mount Rainier National Park. And uh, it's a little higher elevation and a little less populated area. You know, it's been pretty tough time and I'm sure it has been for all of you too, um, and a lot of uncertainty. And we lost a, 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 quite a number of our international students, but we're suddenly seeing this big surprise a resurgence of applications. So we're receiving literally hundreds of applications each quarter now. And um, we're at about 150 international students actually right at the moment. And uh, they come from all over. We have you know, uh, people that speak Spanish and Chinese, the Pacific Rim, Russia, um, Spain. They're really coming from all over Brazil as well. And, and uh, our leading population though is Korean, um, Japanese, Hong Kong, and Vietnamese. Those are the top four that we have. And China comes in about uh, five or six after that. So I'll just go through these briefly. I just wanted to give you kind of a snapshot of the, what the campus looks like. It's very airy, big glassy windows. And it, both of the campuses are on a hilltop surrounded by a park area for soccer or for whatever the students want to do and also the local communities. And then we have an upper, upper right corner there um, with uh, the planet. We have a space um, exhibition uh, science center. So uh, we're very strong in both the STEM and the arts. And we're really, um, we're tooled right to uh, let students explore the experience. They can join, um, you know, an art class, a medium class, singing. They can uh, record their own digital music if they'd like and learn how to record music. Um, if they play an instrument, they can join one of our bands or they can join some of the performance arts. But they can also um, focus, focus down on engineering and um, any of the hard sciences as well. And then we're really big as an international office on excursions. So we do try to get the students out. Seattle is about uh, a 45, 50 minute drive north of us. So we take the students there um, each quarter. And we also try to get into the nature and just, um, you know, we're close to the ocean, about a five minute walk from the ocean and, uh, or excuse me, drive from the ocean. And uh, so there's a lot for students to experience in the area, but we try to get them out to see everything that we can as well. So our big program for sure is fast track high school completion. And it's just been made easier by the state. Um, now an EF student can literally um, you know, achieve their associate degree and automatically achieve their high school diploma with that associate. They don't have to take additional classes. And it's quite a, a, a streamline for the US students and also the international students because they qualify to enroll in this program. So if a student is at least 16 years old, they could start into their associate degree once they have their English. Um, and really within two years, they could be out of school with that associate degree and their high school diploma and transferring on to another school or university. And then, um, of course, the, uh, the transfer program is really big for American students and international students have really figured this out. It's much less expensive. You get more personal attention and uh, the classes are smaller. You, you have more access to your uh, professor. And really the community college ethos are about student success. So everything is focused on getting the student the best success and streamlining them through college so they can transfer. We have these guaranteed partners that are listed here. So we have admissions agreements with these schools that if your student meets the minimum requirement to get in, they'll be admitted to these colleges and universities. 
And then here's just a sampling of our programs. Uh, you'll see, you know, just pretty much everything that you could imagine to, to study as an associate degree or the first two years of a bachelor's degree. And uh, some of these are direct transfers, so just seamless transfer to partner universities across the state and the nation. And others are, you know, programs that a student could just start into, and if they didn't like it, they'd change it, they could move on. It's really, there's no commitment there except for their own desire. And then I should mention that we have a, quite a few bachelor's degrees as well, too. So a lot of students are want, that may like the area can continue on and get their bachelor's degree in business, uh, dental hygiene, emergency management, uh, which is kind of an epicenter for the, um, the training of uh, emergency management managers at Pierce College. And, and those managers work for FEMA and some of the big um, government organizations uh, clearing disaster. And then here are some recent um, schools that our students have transferred to. I know from the last uh, 26 students that graduated, uh, six of them were admitted into the University of Washington, which is a top 10 school. And we've had students get into Columbia, UCLA, and a lot of the students kind of move down into California or they want to go study in New York. And, and uh, so we have quite a bit of success there. And then just trying to pick up the speed here a little bit, sorry. Uh, we, I just want to say that we have the two housing options. Both of them are affordable and run through our office. So we do have a dorm that's, uh, it's not on campus, but it's a five minute ride on the bus or a 15 minute walk across the soccer fields and, um, and up the hill. And it's, you know, it's all inclusive. You cook your own food, however, and um, you know, it's kind of communal living there, or we have a homestay program as well, where you can live with the American family, and that's probably the more affordable option, starting at about five hundred a month, and both of them range from five to eight hundred dollars. And then uh, we work; we've got the collegiate sports at um, Pierce College District, and we are actively recruiting for international students for. Um, baseball, basketball, soccer, women's and, and men's sports, um, volleyball. And, and we really want to encourage you, if you know somebody who is interested in, in playing collegiately, to let us know because we can introduce them to the coach and the, um, and the uh, department head, and they can decide whether it's a good fit or not. So just a little bit about our campus life, um, it's a very active place. I mean, it, you know, oftentimes community colleges are very transient schools where people are just coming in and taking a class or two, but the college has made a, a big effort of trying to build community. So there's a lot of leadership clubs and service learning opportunities um, to build a career. Um, and we are really focused on helping the internationals get a job on campus if they can, or perform their arts or share their culture. And then our international office, um, there's 10 of us in the office, um, but we can you know, do the admissions in I-20, you know, and uh, assistance with our visa, the housing placement. We do a free airport pickup uh, for students that need it in their housing. And, and really all of these services that are listed here, the focus is really on the students. So we feel pretty comfortable with the ratio and also the success of the students. They'll be assigned an advisor who can help them all the way through their degree program and enroll them and register them and, and uh, the entire experience on that. So, and uh, one other thing I just wanna to mention too, there's a writing and tutor center and library service on campus that's that's free to the students. And um, it's been very helpful for students. They can bring in a paper or a math assignment and sit down with somebody and, and uh, the person will personally help them through the problems. And then now we're kind of at the, you know, the important part for a lot of students is the cost. And we can come back to this slide later if you have questions on the different individual costs. And then, uh, you know, the big point for us is we accept any student from any program you know, at any time. 
And so whether they're going into the high school program or whether they're just at large, we'll, we'll make it as easy as possible. Um, we are open and rolling admission, which essentially means that we take anybody and we have an intake every three months. There's no deadline to the application as long as the student can show up in time for orientation. And then we typically um, can turn around an I-20 in about a week for a student or a transfer student, sometimes within the day if, this, if the school is um, it's very personal and it's very quick. And so to apply, really, you can just go to our main website uh, we can send you a PDF application if you prefer. We have a fillable PDF. But if you go to the site, you can just fill out the, the uh, quick form for the student. And uh, essentially, this is what we need below is the photocopy of the passport. Um, the bank statement for the I-20 is 20500 now. And then uh, any transcript or diploma or any evidence that they have attended a school. And then once we have that, Within a week's time, the student's all set. And then we follow up with the student and give them um, an onboarding pre-arrival session on Zoom where we answer all their questions, where to fly in, you know, have they ha do they have their housing yet? Um, do they need to speak to somebody within their own language or because we do have an ambassador program for that. So here's the website again and the QR if you need it.